Hello, my karma babies. Um, this is my second attempt at making this video for you guys. And uh, nothing's going to stop me from making this video for you. Um, I'm going to title it the same as I tried to do a live a little while ago when it just did not work out. So I'm going to record this brief video and then I will um, upload it and hopefully you guys will get to see this. Um, as you can tell by the title, I'm calling it uh, Grandpa's Karma Hayo Silver Away. <clears throat> Uh, Grandpa Karma passed on to be with his Lord and Savior yesterday at 1.55 in the afternoon, August 6th. And yes, this will be the last time that I do this video right now because... My emotions are pretty high. You know, you all know that Grandpa was battling cancer for about two years. And, you know, he had good times in it and he had bad times. And the last time that we recorded, he was having a good time. He was, seemed to be doing well. And, and then it all just started going downhill. And if you notice, I have not recorded in about three months or so, or maybe longer. The last video I did, I'd had it, you know, in, Q and I just had not posted it. It wasn't a recent video. And I decided that I was not going to post any videos for a while. I just wanted to spend all of my time with Grandpa and, and not spend time editing. I love you guys and YouTube is fun and a good hobby, but Grandpa was the real deal. He wasn't a hobby. <laughs> so sorry, I can't. I can't get through this video without the tears and the hurt and the pain. <laughs> Grandpa loved you guys so much and he loved me. And that's why we have the videos up that we do have. Grandpa did those videos for me. He knew that I wanted a recording of him. He knew that I wanted the stories documented. I'm sorry, Karma Babies, but this is raw emotions. I can't sugarcoat it. We were married for 50 years. I met him when I was 17. So I always say 53 years because even though we didn't take vows at 17, I took vows in my heart with him. Grandpa was my world. He took care of me. He nurtured me, he loved me, he loved his family, he loved his children. And he really loved you guys. He became a YouTuber and he started having fun with it. He really enjoyed doing the videos and he was really sad in the last few months that he couldn't spend time with you guys. but. He was in a lot of pain. And he didn't want you to see him that way. He 
he passed yesterday. And I know that he is with his Lord and Savior. That's all he talked about. That's all he called on the Lord. He just repeatedly said, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And I know that his body is gone, but his spirit is still here and is with me. I'm not going to say it's going to take time for me to get over this. Because I'm never going to get over it. I'm never going to get over it. He was my soulmate. He was my heart. He was my joy. He loved his children and he loved his family and he loved his friends. I won't be posting anything for a while because I'm going to have to make arrangements and we're, you know, that we're in a little small town. We don't have family here. And we're going to have to uh, transfer his body, the remains, from here to another town that's about four hours away. But that's where his mother is buried and his father and his aunt and his grandmother. He's got two brothers there. It's a family burial, little cemetery. It's a little cemetery in a, in a town of about 300 people. That's where grandpa came from. So many people loved him for who he was. He was straightforward. He didn't play games. He let you know how he felt about you. And usually that was that he loved you or cared about you. Like I said, this is the second time doing this video and maybe it's a good thing because I'm getting a lot of my tears out. I called the closest families and friends and told them personally before I did this video. And some of my YouTube friends have become some of the most amazing friends that I know I will ever have. Grandpa did not want you guys to see the pain and suffering that he was enduring in the last few months. He wanted you to remember him in the videos that he did. Some of the videos you may notice are missing because I had to take a lot of them down because they had copyright music infringement and I will go in and I will take care of that and I will re-upload them. The first night of being alone without him I fell asleep listening to his voice. That's what I'm so thankful for, that I get an opportunity to hear his voice over and over and over again. That's, that was our plan. Oh. <sighs> 
knowing that we're going to be incurring a lot of expenses. If you feel compelled or you would like, I have a cash app and please, I would welcome any donations. It's cash app or dollar sign Mary J. Jordan. We are going to be experiencing a lot of uh, costs. Hold on a minute. Can you go out till I finish the video, please? Open the door then. Go ahead. I'm, I'm right. I'm in the middle of the video. My daughter's coming home from work. She has been here with me. She stayed home to be with her grandpa. And she had to go to work today so that she can take off all of next week. We will be having his services next week, next weekend. I will post it in the community in the community on my community page i know she's going to be coming in in a few minutes so i'm in the living room as you can tell there's the door right there my grandpa would tell me to wrap it up <laughs> but look at some of his videos and know know that he loved you And he did those videos for me and he did those videos for you. I love you, my karma babies, and I will keep you posted. I will um, post all the information about his services. And if you're anywhere near, please come. Grandpa would love that. I don't have anything else to say except that Grandpa is with Jesus now. He's with his Lord and Savior. He's where he needs to be right now. He's not in any more pain. And I guess I'm in pain. And I'll be in pain for a while. I love you guys, and um, I will post, like I said, in the, uh, I'm doing this video because I tried to go live and I messed it up, <laughs> so I can't repeat that live again. I've just got to upload this really quickly to you guys and know that I love, love you guys very much. I will be posting sometime in the future. I will let you guys know what's going on with Grandpa. Uh, I will post my post office box. If you want to send cards, please do. Grandpa got a big kick out of every single card that you guys sent him. Know that we love you and we're family. And I know you guys are going to help me heal. You're going to help me heal. Fifty-three years is a long time. It's so quiet now without him. Okay, guys, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Remember, how others treat you is their karma. How you respond is your karma. Love you. Bye-bye.